hello guys so in this video we are going to download visual studio so that we can work with a xamarin let's go to the google and download visual studio for xamarin okay, let's try with 2019 and open this first link microsoft so download for windows so we will go for the community edition so we don't need to pay anything so if download does not begin so it is begin started just click on this ask for yes let's wait for this and continue so make sure your internet is connected because everything will be downloaded from the internet okay so based on the internet speed it may take time so once it is done you will be able to see this window okay so here we need to work with the xamarin so go ahead and look for xamarin so do we have xamarin over here so simply go for desktop and mobile sport yes i just scroll it from here and here you can see we have dotnet desktop development dotnet for xamarin this one you need to select basically okay so nothing else so if you want you can change the location where you want to install so i just keep it on the default location go for install and again it will take some time so make sure your internet is connected so it is approximately of showing 2.39 gb so let's wait so i'm going to skip some part of the video so that we should not wait for long to being downloaded okay so it is downloaded and installation is still pending let's wait for the completion of installing packages okay so almost installed okay so almost done let's wait and it is started okay so simply click not now maybe later and you can select your theme whatever you want i just go for the default one whatever selected So once it is done you will be able to see this so from here you can create a new project just go ahead and click on create new project now here you will be able to see a lot of templates so we can either select for the language platform or types so from the types you can go ahead and select whatever you want project types and select for mobile over here do we have mobile yes so go ahead and select this Xamarin form next and give your app name let's say first underscore Xamarin underscore app so I just keep it on the default location let's go ahead create so make sure you select both so if you want to go ahead and work for both code bases allow if asked for the firewall permission for the Xamarin allow assess create and wait so it will take some time and once done you will be able to see this window okay so this is your all about your project files and here what you need to do once you go here you must have emulator let's go so we don't have emulator here simply go for device manager so that we can create a new emulator if ask click for yes okay so simply you need to accept this sdk license if ask hit yes and it is opening this device manager so here you can see uh, we already have one 
device coming over here which i have created earlier in the previous video if you have seen the video for installing android studio okay so i just create a new one over here it might have conflict with that one so simply create a new one and you can change the properties whatever you want so i will just keep it default and create so my motive is just to run the app so it will ask for this packages to be installed simply agree for by accepting so now it will take some time to download this uh, version of android 9 so just wait So downloading. Okay, once it is downloaded, it is going to create one emulator for you. So once it is created, you will be able to start it. And once it is started, you will be able to run. Okay, runs it. Clicking. And once it is done, you can hit the start button. So when it may ask you for firewall permission if asked simply hit yes okay so this is your emulator you can close it for the prime being so you can see this emulator is by default selected over here so what you need to do is you just simply click on this run button once your device is started so that gonna run your default xamarin project So once it is started, you can simply hit this run button and wait. Processing. Creating a build. So make sure your internet is connected and depending upon your device configuration it may take time so once the build is generated it would be installed on this device so this is the default app you can see on the screen so that's all for this video thank you